Hey guys, The Casual Cutter here. Today's video is going to be all about my latest knife mod uh, that I just completed last night. I was up until um, 2 o'clock in the morning finishing this mod and not only is it um, what I think is my best knife mod to date and uh, my most significant knife mod to date, um, but I'm just super stoked about it. Anyway, let's get into that. Um, I started really getting into knife mods only this past October, so a little over three months ago. And uh, one of the very first knives that I took to modding was the CRKT Pilar. Um, this is one I did for my friend. I uh, basically just did a little patina on the blade, stone washed, uh, acid etched and stone washed the scales, filed the backspacer a little bit, and uh, bronzed the screws, worked the action, and um, it's a really smooth knife now, and it's cool. So, I like the Pilar. If you follow me on um, Instagram or um, have seen any of my videos, it's just a really cool EDC knife, and um, you could have fun with them. Super ergonomic. This one right here is my personal carry um, Pilar. Acid etched and stone washed the lock side. It's got a bronze flitanium scale on it. I acid etched and stone washed the blade, bronze the hardware and clip um, using a um, torch. Did a little backspacer filing. And this is just a knife that I carry all the time. I really enjoy carrying and using. Um, again, the ergonomics on these things are stellar. They're um, relatively inexpensive and they're just a great design by Jesper Voxness. So I'm a fan of the Pilar. Um, but let's get into today's knife and the reason why I'm making this video. And I apologize for the um, lighting and sound. We got a pretty big storm going on right now and I have to uh, work with what I got. So apologize for that in advance if you hear the wind and the rain and all that stuff. So today's knife um, I modded for um, somebody who's pretty significant in the knife and EDC world. And his name is Jim Worth. Uh, if you don't know who Jim is, he's the founder and CEO of my, probably, definitely my favorite production knife company, which is Giant Mouse Knives. Um, he also is the owner of Carpe Diem EDC. Carpe Diem EDC puts out some really cool everyday carry uh, items. They have uh, challenge coins, um, rings, uh, leather goods, um, and just, uh, you know, super cool pocket stuff. Um, so definitely go and check them out. Um, but a little bit of backstory on this knife that I have here that I did for Jim. Um, back in November, I went to the New York Custom Knife Show um, and I met Jim. I met Jesper and Jens from Giant Mouse. And I had brought a Pilar um, that I had done up for my Instagram 1k giveaway and um, that knife I really wanted um, Jesper Voxnes who designed it to sign for the giveaway um, which he graciously did um, and when I was there at the table Jim asked to see the knife um, and he played around with it a little bit and um, he asked me you know could I do one for him and uh, Needless to say, I was kind of speechless, and I said, of course I'll do one for you. Um, and he said, okay, well, you know, how much do you want? And I said, no, no you know, I'm going to do one for you. I'm not going to charge you for it. So he insisted, I insisted. Long story short, he handed me a couple of uh, nice little gifts and uh, said, let me know when it's done. So now fast forward, it's almost the end of January. Um, the holidays, I got caught up with everything, and... You know, I was really short on time. I didn't do much modding. But uh, this past week, I had some free time. And I said, you know what? i got to get this done for Jim. And I wanted to do something really special. So um, this is what I came up with. Now, Carpe Diem EDC's logo kind of what they're um, recognized for, a lot of their designs, Jim's designs, 
is a skull with a gear. And um, so I wanted to do something and incorporate that into the knife. Um, this etching was hand painted, masked off by hand, and then um, the scale was acid etched. The paint was removed, then it was acid etched again, and then it was uh, wet sanded meticulously so that the lettering would pop and the design would pop, but it would still retain a lot of the acid etch. Um, I thought about using uh, decals, but I don't have the machine to, to cut the decals. It's about a $200 machine, so I said, you know what, let me just take a swing at doing it by hand. And while it's not um, perfect, it's, uh, it's got kind of a cool, authentic, you know, hand-done look to it. So um, that's the show scale. The lock side, I acid etched and stone washed in a dark stone wash or dark acid etch. And um, the blade, I did my two stage acid etch splatter pattern, both sides there. And so I put the knife together, I test fit it, and I, I knew I was going to bronze the, um, the hardware, flame, flame uh, color, the hardware. But I, I wanted to do something extra to, uh, to dress it up. So what I did is I took a Dremel to the pivot, if you can see that, if we'll focus, and did kind of a, a hammered finish slash rock pattern. And then I bronzed it, and I carried that same design over to the pocket clip to kind of make it pop. So you got that dark acid etch and then that, um, that little bit of bronze in the hardware that I think sets off the look of the knife. Um, I also did the same pattern to the backspacer, which goes all the way around. So, that's that. The um, recess for the pocket clip, which is on both sides, so you can carry the knife tip up or tip down. Um, it actually looks like a skull to me, and since a skull is Carpe Diem EDC's logo, I uh, played around with a little masking and just made it look a little bit more like a skull. Just added that little detail. So, you know, I think, I think I pulled off the theme that I was going for, which was um, keeping it similar to the knife that Jim saw that he liked with the um, splatter pattern on the blade, um, the heavy stone wash, but I wanted to personalize it to him. So, um, I don't know. I, I think I'm pretty happy with the way it came out. see all the little details here now another thing with this um, acid etching after it's wet sanded and buffed down, it kind of has that sheen to it, so it almost changes the way it looks based on how the light hits it, which I think is a cool effect. And um, the blade actually does the same. It almost disappears and then comes back. Um, if you guys are interested in learning how to do this yourself, I do have a tutorial video um, back on my channel. It was one of the very first videos I ever did. It's really, really um, amateurish, I guess you, should, you could say. I shot it in vertical mode. I was super new to the YouTubes. 
So cut me some slack on that, but it does include all the details um, step by step on how to achieve this finish and how to um, acid etch and stone wash um, steel. So take a look at that if you're interested. But um, I'm going to be uh, posting a bunch of detailed pictures of this knife on my Instagram. So you can find them over there at the Casual Cutter. Um, you can find Carpe Diem EDC on Instagram as well. Uh, it's Carpe underscore Diem underscore EDC. Um, Jim has a Instagram account as well. Um, J Worth W I R T H six six. Um, he has a pretty awesome uh, knife collection by Jens and Jesper, and uh, a pretty wild watch collection as well. So, bunch of cool picks over there on both his um, Instagram accounts, uh, both his personal account and Carpe Diem EDC. Definitely check them out. Um, let me see if I actually have some stuff here. Hold on one second. There we go. All right, so here's the um, one of their challenge coins. You can see the logo there with the skull and the gear. Obviously, my hand-painted version of it isn't insanely detailed because you're talking the size of a dime actually smaller than a dime there, but um, this is one of his challenge coins. And these are available in a bunch of different finishes um, and materials. Brass, copper, steel, um, sterling silver. So super cool. They make for good uh, pictures. And this is uh, another piece is pretty bad ass so <clears throat> that's the knife guys um, I hope you like it I hope Jim likes it I know I like it and um, keep an eye out for more mods like this as I get free time um, I'll be doing more knives, all different uh, brands, um, budget knives, high-end knives, um, whatever I can get my hands on and play around with. I also just started anodizing titanium, so that's pretty cool. I got a Boker F3 here that I did, another Vox design, awesome, based on his uh, custom F3, which is a grail knife of mine. But... um. Yeah, I guess that's it, guys. I uh, just wanted to show you this knife in detail, um, give you a little backstory on it. Um, definitely go check out uh, Carpe Diem EDC. Um, check out Jim's account as well. I'll put um, info down in the description of this video. Um, and uh, I hope he likes it. I think it's a pretty cool knife. I'd be happy if... Uh, just if he um, even carried it or uh, used it, that would be an honor. Pretty much, uh, you know, look up to Jim. He's, a, he's an entrepreneur. He, um, he's a knife enthusiast. Um, he has some pretty cool friends um, that he gets to work with and um, puts out awesome products. So it's the least I could do to... Um, show my appreciation for him and what he does and uh jim if you're watching this i hope you like the knife and uh look forward to meeting you sometime in the future at another event that's it for today guys be sure to check out my account on instagram for some more pics and i'll catch you guys on the next one. Casual cutter out.